close your eyes and spread thoughts of goodwill. When the Buddha was teaching Rahula, his son, how to do breath meditation, he first started with a series of, of other contemplations. One was to make your mind like earth. In other words, try to be non-reactive. And the second was to develop thoughts of goodwill, along with the other Brahma Viharas. These things will come up in the meditation. Sometimes you'll see some, somebody that you know. And sometimes the emotions may be strong, sometimes they may be not strong at all. Somebody, sometimes the people you recognize, sometimes, sometimes they're people you don't. Just have goodwill for them, whoever they are. Try to be non-reactive, and then go back to the breath. This way you can dispense with a lot of entanglements that otherwise would keep you from meditating. So you want to start out with the attitude, goodwill for everybody. And then anybody shows up in the course of the meditation, you get goodwill for them. And that should be enough. Tell yourself you don't have to think any further thoughts about that person. Just goodwill, dedicate the merit of the meditation to them if it's someone who's passed away. And then go back. Sometimes it's simply our own mind thinking these things. The memory of that person is buried deep down. Sometimes there are beings around us come in and they're asking for a little bit of your merit. So share some with them. As John Lee says, it's like someone walking down the street with lots of food in their hands. Of course, lots of animals are going to come around looking for the food, hoping for a bite. So when you've got something good like this, don't be afraid of the people who want to come and ask for a little share. Just be happy to share it and then go back and develop your meditation. That way you find that the meditation gets less and less distracted, and you have more time to be doing your real work, which is to get to know the mind as it's trying to settle down. In time, a lot of times when people know that you're meditating, they'll ask you, what do you see? And the best answer is, is I see my mind's defilements, because a lot of our defilements that we don't see unless we're really quiet. That's right. The ultra may see, just have lots of goodwill and let it go. Because the real work is in your own mind. And we are trying to make a difference, trying to see something we haven't seen before, realize something we haven't realized before. And that requires that we do something that we haven't done before. In other words, learn to get the mind really settled, really still, and very sensitive to any disturbances that come your way. Not sensitive in the fact and the idea that you're going to go out after them, but sensitive to the fact that your mind is creating a lot of those disturbances and you want to see it in action. It's only when you can see it in action that you can do what needs to be done. And that's why we have that contemplation of making the mind like earth. Because sometimes you'll see things about your own mind coming up in the meditation that you don't like about yourself. But if you run away from them or deny them, you'll never get to deal with them properly. So they're there. You don't have to react. And then you can figure out what needs to be done. 